In this video I want to show you how to calculate the mean and variance of a binomial distribution. And once we have the variance we can calculate the standard deviation. So let's say, for example, that we have a binomial distribution with a number of trials 5 and a probability of success 0.8. Here is a table of the binomial distribution. So it tells you the individual probabilities for each from 0 to 5. So, for example, the probability of getting one success uh, with probability 0.8 is 0.0064. So, that's just over 6, uh, uh, well, just over half a percent. Okay, so, if I wanted to find the mean, then if I look at this table, I would be expecting the mean to be roughly around the highest frequency. So in this case, the highest probability. So that would be 4. So I'd expect the mean to be somewhere around 4. Just because the highest probability is there of about 41%. So you can calculate the mean of a binomial distribution using the formula NP. N times P. This formula is given to you in the formula booklet on page 11. So n in this case is 5, and the probability is 0.8. So 5 lots of 0.8 is actually 4, as actually we expected. So there is more background to this. I'm not going to go through it in this video. But effectively you can come to the same answer by multiplying all of the x's by their respective probabilities and adding those six numbers up. So you multiply 0 by 0 0.00032 plus 1 times 0 0.0064, add them all together and then you get 4. Okay, and that's how you can work out the probability of a uh, discrete distribution like this. If you want the variance, then the formula also in the formula booklet is NP times 1 minus P. So that's 5 times 0 0.8 times by 0 0.2. 1 take away 0 0.8. So 5 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So that's the variance. So the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, 0.8. So square root of the answer is 2 fifths root 5, or approximately 0.894. Okay, so that's how we can calculate the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of a binomial distribution. All you need to know is the number of trials and the probability of success and then you can substitute them into the formulas given to you.